Hi beauties, it's Jean with Beauty and the Stamper and today I'm going to show you these artistic masks. We're going to make some sunflowers and I have two layers here. I have the hound's tooth and the sunflower and I'm going to just add some crushed curry with my blending brushes here and I take a little bit off to make it a little bit lighter and so I leave the hound's tooth on and I go to the next layer. They are numbered. So this is number two. We're filling in the center, and I went a little bit darker there. And then we got the inside, and I'm gonna go with the copper and get that real nice and dark there. Then we need to add some leaves. So I'm getting that leaf, and that's uh, mask number four. We're gonna add those in. Now remember, this is only going to do the hound's tooth, and that's just gonna give it some added texture. Now, I'm gonna go back in, and I don't do these in the numerical order. I do them kind of from lighter, uh, darker to lighter. So we're gonna go in again with that copper, and then it just adds that little hound's tooth color. Then we're gonna go in with the Oh, I need to clean off a piece <laughs> that had a little bit of the copper on it and I didn't want to spread that. So we're going to put the inside there and get those great colors. Then I'm going to take the sunflowers, put them back on there and use the crushed curry. And then I even want to give it a little bit more of some shading. So at this point, I'm going to bring out my pumpkin pie and we're going to go ahead and put those kind of along the bottom uh, right side to make it look like some light is coming from the upper left side. Look at how pretty that came out. Now let's add those leaves and I'm going to go ahead and I used old olive at first and now I'm using a lighter green here. I don't remember, I think it was, I don't know that it was garden green or a granny apple green, but since the color's crushed curry, I wanted to put the white on the inside. And now I'm gonna grab some of this ribbon and I'm going to think about putting it on the back, but first <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of speckles just to give some more texture on that white space. I'm gonna go ahead and use my adhesive and wrap the ribbon right around. This saves on ribbon. And then I can put that right onto the crushed curry piece. Then I'm going to stamp. This sadly is a sympathy card for a friend of mine whose husband was like an uncle to me. One of my dad's really good friends so I'm gonna go ahead and um, put the sympathy and then I'm gonna use the die. And this just makes a perfect um, shape for this card. So I think it'll go really nicely. I wanna pop it up just a little bit. So I'm taking some of the strips and that will let me pop that up on either side of the ribbon. I'm gonna take the little piece of ribbon and cut that around and it makes a beautiful faux bow there. Now I can add that, but oh, gotta take off the <laughs> strips there. And now we can put that on, add a couple little dimension or embellishments and we're done. I hope you like it. Have a great day, bye.